I'm uh, Kat Wilson. I uh, work in Microsoft's worldwide public sector. I'm uh, specifically focused on city solutions. And I work as part of a team of people that are driving Microsoft's uh, City Next initiative, which is trying to help cities around the world modernize and become better places to live, not only for people today, but for generations of people that will be moving to cities in the future. Uh, Microsoft City Next is a, a company-wide initiative that is partner-led, so we're very much interested in working with our partners that uh, the, uh, the initiative is designed to leverage all of the products that Microsoft brings to the marketplace, all of our uh, programs for education and digital inclusion, and 20 years of experience of working with cities. And when we couple that with our partners like ITRON, who bring deep subject matter expertise around energy and water and gas, which are critical infrastructure parts for cities, um, this initiative is able to help city leaders in particular understand the role of information technology and the role of data and the role of citizen engagement in helping to make their cities better places to live. Uh, Microsoft and ITRON have been partners for many years and uh, my understanding is that uh, most of the ITRON portfolio leverages some piece of Microsoft's technology in some way, shape, or form. And the way that our business model works is you know, ITRON brings the subject matter expertise for the energy and the water and the gas and the smart grid and the metering. Microsoft brings subject matter expertise for cloud computing and big data analytics and security and privacy. And the marriage of those two things makes a great solution for customers. ITRON can do what it does best and it can rely on Microsoft to do what we do best and the customer is the beneficiary. The city of Helsinki has used big data analytics to figure out how to reduce its uh, gasoline consumption in its metro uh, bus network. Um, and they were measuring literally uh, bus drivers putting their foot on and off the pedal, going through the city and figuring out where the big points of consumption were. They're taking actions to reduce that. They've reduced their gas consumption by 5%, which may not sound like a lot, but we're talking about millions of euros and dollars, uh, millions of euros in, in fuel costs. Another example would be uh, Issy les Molineaux, uh, which is a neighborhood in Paris, France, where they have deployed the first district level microgrid to give real time consumption data to the residents and businesses that are operating there so that they've been able to reduce their energy consumption by 20%. Um, we're doing some work with the city of Seattle that is allowing them to look into the data that they already have in their commercial building stock and find through fault detection and diagnostics, find places where they can reduce their energy consumption and save millions of dollars and reduce their overall carbon footprint. So we're doing a lot of things with a lot of people around the world, but it really comes down to the data and getting that data turned into information that a person can take action on so that they can meet their own objectives, whether it is reducing their costs or conserving a resource, <clears throat> excuse me, or reducing their carbon footprint. So it's very exciting what, what just having that information is able to do for people.